So, it's finally official. DJI just launched the Neo 2, and this time, it's not a leak, it's real. The tiny drone that's been flooding every drone forum and telegram group for weeks is now out in China, and we finally have all the specs to talk about. But here's the twist, while it's already available in China, the global launch has been delayed. DJI says Europe will get it first on November 13th, and as for the United States? Well, that's where things get complicated. Because of the FCC restrictions and ongoing bans on new DJI products, there's no confirmed US release yet. So, for now, the Neo 2 is kind of a China and Europe only affair. Let's talk about why everyone's so hyped about this one. The Neo 2 costs around 205 US dollars in China, a little pricier than the original, but it's packing serious upgrades. The weight is up slightly to 151 grams, but it still stays under the 250 gram legal limit. That means no registration headaches in most countries. And that new camera? Oh boy, this is the biggest jump yet. The Neo 2 shoots in 4K 60 frames per second and even supports 4K 1 to 100 frames per second for buttery slow motion shots. The original Neo maxed out at 30 frames, so this is a completely new level of video quality. Then there's stabilization. The first Neo had a single axis gimbal, good, not great. The Neo 2 now has a dual axis mechanical gimbal, which makes a huge difference when flying in wind or making sharp turns. The footage looks smoother, steadier, and way more professional. Now, here's where DJI really flexed its AI muscles. The Neo 2 comes with proper active track style subject tracking, gesture control, and smart recognition. Raise your hand, pose, or wave, and it starts filming. It can follow people, pets, cars, whatever you tell it to, automatically. That's something we usually see only on bigger, more expensive drones. The range has been multiplied by 10. The original Neo had a 50 meter Wi-Fi range. The Neo 2 now reaches 5 to 100 meters. You can fly this thing way beyond your backyard and still keep a stable connection. It's not full OcuSync, but it's definitely using a far stronger transmission system with lower latency and fewer dropouts. Flight time got a small bump from 18 to 19 minutes, thanks to a new higher capacity battery. But here's the catch, those new batteries don't fit the old Neo. They're exclusive to this model. So if you own the first one, your old batteries are now basically souvenirs. Speeds up to 12 meters per second, or roughly 27 miles per hour, Combine that with the new obstacle sensing system and smarter controls, and it's easily the fastest, safest mini drone DJI's made yet. And storage finally. The Neo 2 gives you 49 gigabytes of internal space, more than double the 22 gigs from before. So even if you forget your micro SD card, you're good to go. Design-wise, it keeps that friendly palm-sized look with round propeller guards and a clean white body, but the details are sharper. The build feels tighter, the finish more refined, and overall, it just looks like a premium DJI product, not a toy. Now, about the availability again, yes, it's already shipping in China, and European pre-orders start November 13th. The US release, though, is uncertain. With the current trade restrictions and the FCC's halt on approving new DJI gear, Americans might have to wait quite a while or import one unofficially. That said, this drone has the potential to be a global hit once it does land. It fixes every complaint people had with the first Neo short range, weak stabilization, and lack of smart features while still keeping it small enough to toss in your backpack. For two to hundred bucks, it's kind of crazy what you're getting here. 4K 100 FPS, dual axis gimbal, smart tracking, half a kilometer range, and better flight stability. DJI didn't just make the Neo 2 more capable, they made it smarter, safer, and more fun. So yeah, it's official, the DJI Neo 2 is out, but not everywhere yet. Europe gets it next, and the US, well, we'll have to wait and see. Either way, this might be the start of a whole new class of DJI mini drones, small, powerful, and smart enough to fly themselves. This is Tech Court, and that's the full breakdown. Case closed, for now.